Hi friends, welcome to LearnExcel.com. Today I am going to show installation of Arch Linux. Before starting installation, first of all, go to Arch Linux download page and download ISO image file. Then next create bootable DVD or USB. Then plug into your system and restart your system. After that restart, you can get installation wizard like this. Then press enter to start installation. At first, you can get automatic root login page. Here you just check your internet connection strong or not by using ping command. Just ping google.co.in. You can able to see my internet connection is strong. Then next check partition table by using fdisk-l command. Just use this and then hit enter. You can able to see I have 15 GB hard disk. Then next I am showing partitioning type cf disk just like this and then hit enter now you can select your label type just choose dos then you will get partition window here you can able to see your hard disk and then choose new and then hit enter then set hard disk size i set 10 gp for first primary partitioning then select primary the next you choose bootable now you can able to see changes this star symbol it indicates for boot the next you choose right select and hit enter then type yes the next you choose free space of your hard disk now you create partitioning for swap memory just choose it then select new the next give size for swap memory here I have 1.5 GP my physical memory so I give 3 GP for my swap after that hit enter then choose primary now swap memory is created then next you choose write and then type yes after that hit enter after partitioning you just choose quite it requires to partitioning wizard now you can verify your partitioning details by using fdisk-l command. Just use this and then hit enter. Here you can able to see our partitionings. Then next format primary partitioning using this mkfs command. Just use and then hit enter. Okay now it's formatted. Then next format swap by using mkswap command. Just use this and then hit enter. Now swap memory created. The next you just on swap memory by using swap on command just use swap on and then hit enter now swap memory is on the next time showing installing our linux base system at first you mount mnt directly to sda1 just use mount command like this after that hit enter after mounting next install our linux base system by using packstrap command just Type this command and then hit enter. Now our Linux based system installation process started. Okay, that's it, friends. Base system installation process completed. After base system installation, create fstab files. Just use gen fstab command for create fstab files. Just use this and then hit enter. The next verify that fstab files by using cat command just use this command and then hit enter then next arch linux basic configuration now let us switch to newly installed arch linux base system by using this command just use and then hit enter next step to configure system language just use va slash etc slash locally dot gen and then hit enter in this configuration file you just search your language zone and then uncommand it just select your language and then delete as symbol save and quit then generate the new locals using this command after that hit enter now the locals generation successfully after that create local.com file by using vi command here you just add your language after then save and quit then next list out language zones 
by using ls command just use this command after that hit enter then next create soft link for your local time just use this command and then hit enter the next set to the time standard to utc by using this command after that hit enter the next set to root password just use password command type your root password and retype your root password now root password set successfully the next set post name just use this command and then hit enter here you just set your post name like this after that save and quit the next enable dhcp just use this command and then hit enter the next grub installation just use pacman hyphen s grub os prober just use this command and then hit enter now it's ask confirmation to proceed installation just give y for continue installation now the grub package download process is started now the grub package download successfully the next use grub install command to install grub after that make grub cfg file by using grub hyphen mk config command just use this and then hit enter after that you just type exit command the next unmount mnt directory using umo that's it installation process completed after that you reboot your system just use reboot command after reboot your system you can get this screen just choose arc linux the next you can get login screen just type root and then type your root password that's it friends